Hello, everyone. I'm Hiroyuki Shimizu. I'm with Takanaka Corporation Japan. I'm very honored to be here and to be able to share with you our project. Uh, Takenaka is committed to contribute to society by passing on the works to future generations. To realize this commitment, uh, we, we've always been challenging in adopting and developing new technology. At the same time, we value our collaborators, vendors, so much because they are the ones who complete our work for us. This is the agenda. Uh, I'd like to introduce Takenaka first, then workflow briefly, data to fabrication and construction, which is the problem for us, and the latest project on site. This is our corporate profile. Roughly 2,500 architects and 23 construction managers, all in-house. 70% of our business is based on design-build practices. Architectural BIM software we use, Archicad covers more than 75%, and Rhino comes next. Takenaka started in 1610 as a master builder, built shrines and temples. This picture illustrates the construction site in that era. And the guy marked with the box, he is a master builder. Master builders did everything. Uh, they met with clients, did sketches, calculations, and managed constructions. This is the background of Takenaka, and that's why we do design build. Reimagining master builders, uh, we'd like to make our design build services as the same as uh, same level of the services in quality and in integrity as the ones provided by master builders. We are to push it further to achieve data-driven design build in near future. That's what we're trying to do. Let me show you our history of challenges so far. In 1955, uh, we have worked on the first DFMA project in Japan which was the base for Antarctic Expedition Dispatch Team. In 1958, Tokyo Tower, the first broadcasting tower in Japan, which was the tallest in that era, in that time. We designed and built the first air-supported dome, Tokyo Dome. In this project, uh, we used computer-aided design for the first time. It was one of the biggest challenges in our history. We completed, uh, in 2014, we completed the tallest building in Japan, which houses hotel, offices, museum, and department stores, and the railway station at the bottom. And there's a public room on top, you see through here. This is the photo, the public room. Nothing is blocking the view. Now that we are, I shared with you our background, I'd like to move on to next section, our workflow, which is quite simple. The program model is a kind of vehicle carrying information throughout the process. Each team, each disciplines make their model separately. This is the rule. 
And when the construction model is ready, it, it is distributed to vendors so they can make their own models to fabricate. And facility management model is created by the end of construction for maintenance and operation. We've, since we've just uh, started using the Rofers, one of Nemechek uh, group software, it, this might be replaced in near future. I'm not sure yet. We use Solubly as a platform and we synchronize all these models at a review meeting with all members attended. This is one of the most important activity in our workflow. And the cycle keeps going on. It works in construction phase as well. All the vendors models are flash checked on solubly to meet the design. Big rooms for project reviews. Top photo shows a review session held at the construction site with our client invited. Open BIM is the most important concept for us. Construction process involves more than 100 parties throughout the process. So we use Solubly as a platform so that anyone can participate. But there are some other issue in between Takanaka and collaborators, uh, which is one of our problem, data to fabrication and construction. It is a struggle we tackle nowadays. Seamless data flow is one of our important goals. However, in terms of the data connection between, oh, sorry, between Takanaka and vendors, collaborators, uh, it's not well connected. Most of the work uh, collaborators do not use our data for their work. They're doing exactly the same way they did 20 or 30 years ago. They work on 2D drawings. But there are some hopes in cases like a steel fabrication. Our data from construction model go to fabrication model and it's used in machine. So it's a good thing, just started recently. Another trial on site, workers wearing HoloLens, marking on concrete directory, it's very efficient. Another trial using HoloLens for inspection. So such trials are happening nowadays in many construction sites. Now I can show you our project in Osaka, Sanye Kensetsu Steel Fabrication Headquarter, which is under construction right now. Sanye is one of our vendors closely working together. This is the site next to their steel fabrication yard, factory. There are three major requirements. One, better communication in headquarter building, of course. And two, workplace which motivate workers to, be, to change their mindset as competitive, innovative. Three, the building should require challenges in fabrication because it will become a showcase for their technology. Functional relation chart, which is very simple. It's not a big building. So we developed 
many scheme and proposed, but unfortunately, all of them were rejected by the president of Sanye. Unfortunately. The reason why he rejected was because he didn't see any challenges in publication. It was they were too easy for them. So <laughs> So our team had to do another trial. Challenges came back to them. You might have seen such divisions in nature. Dragonflies, giraffe, leaf, bubble, which is called Voronoi division. So our team borrowed the rule to create new relation between rooms, spaces, in rectangular box. So this is how it is divided. And the space inside is uh, sh will show up later in the video. In our BIM studio, President of Sanye wearing put on HoloLens and saw something unusual in our conceptual model and enjoyed it, liked it, and approved it very quickly. So this is a very good example of the use case for VR system in decision making. Our team used Grasshopper to optimize the divisions. Four plans were picked out of 10,000 options. Simulations were conducted in early stage, printed out structure model, and made some scale model as well. And we had con concurrent engineering meetings twice a week or more with steel fabricators in it, and they're our clients this time. They are the ones who challenged the most our model for why not to create the form and architect to complete the schematic design. And in construction phase, there, there are many different kinds of softwares used, old plus checked on solubly to de meet the design. It turned out to be like this and the building will be completed by the end of March next year. I'm sure it's this, going, this is going to be a big success with all the new technology and good efforts with our team spirit building together. Please take a look at the video. The last update was done nine days ago.